Welcome to another episode of Eat, Smoke, Drink. Today, I'm going to eat my fucking spirit animal. So if you know me by now, alright, there's a guy singing up ahead. Anyway, if you know me by now, then you'll know that I love Spain. I love Spain. There's a guy behind me that's going crazy. All right, well, welcome to Spain. So look, I love Spain. Spain has the perfect mixture of character, great food, prices have great utility versus cost ratio. But most of all, Spain has a great love for my spirit animal, and that is the pork. The pork animal is an amazing animal. So today I'm going to be featuring more eat than smoke, more eat than drink. I'm going to be eating the shit out of Hamon Iberico. If you don't know what Hamon Iberico is, then get the fuck out of your cave. Because Hamon Iberico was featured in the Bible. Jesus himself mentioned Hamon Iberico like 69 times in the Bible. Hamon Iberico is probably one of the most legendary foods in the world. You have French, you have Champagne, you have Germany, and you... Actually, no, Germany doesn't have much to offer. And then you have Spain, and you have Hamon Iberico. Hamon Iberico is like taking a pig, caring for it exceptionally well, feeding it, ridiculous awesome food and then curing its meat that's what Hamon Iberico is I'm gonna to go to a place called Hamon Mercado it is on the main strip here in Madrid and um, hopefully the owners will let me cut the Hamon hopefully they'll let me cut the Hamon and show you how to cut it and all of that stuff okay anyway I'll take you to, I'll, t I'll, I'll talk to you more about Hamon when we get to the place So you're probably wondering, what is Hamon Iberico? Well, let me take you through it. You get a pig. It has to be black pigs with black foot. Okay, black feet. So you can have different types of Hamon. Hamon is actually loosely translated to ham. Okay, to ham. But Hamon Iberico, biota, is a very special thing in itself. So, Hamon Iberico, biota, um, has to be black pigs, Iberian black pigs. They also call them pata negra, which means black foot. They have to be a specific breed. And then several months, several months before they slaughter them, they actually feed them on acorns. So they're free range pigs. They feed them on acorns. They get this unique nutty and acorn flavor in their meat. They're free range, so they eat grass, grass bugs, um, and they roam around the pasture and then they kill them. They kill them and sacrifice them to the gods and that's what you get when you have Biota Hamon Iberico. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to order some Hamon and uh, I'm going to ask them if I could go in there and cut the Hamon. All right, so we have, we have Jorge. He is kindly offered to show me how he cuts the Hamon. Um, so yeah, look. Yeah. Um, we are using this, this type of knife is special knife, it's a ham knife. Yes. Okay. And it is it's important to be uh, long and so flexible. Mm -hmm. okay. We cut only in one direction. Okay, mm -hmm. just in one direction. Okay, I start to cut that side. That side. And then, now when we cut um, in this direction, we only cut like this. 
but just slicing because the uh, knife are so so sharp and only slicing slowly we take all the pieces exactly okay you can see that i make like circles okay pa, pa, pa. Oh, okay. So okay. you can't just cut straight through. It's yeah. got to be very slowly, millimeter by millimeter. So slowly. Okay. Yeah. So what makes these hamon special is that they are fed acorns before they're killed. Yeah. Here in Spain we have three special things that make this a special product. First of all, we have the breed, the Iberian breed. Okay, the Iberian breed is a special mix from a regular pork, a normal pork, uh, like Peppa Pig. <laughs> okay, with a wild I like pork. eating Peppa Pig. <laughs> with a wild pork that we have here in Spain in the mountains. We mixed a long years ago and we obtained the Iberian breed. The Iberian breed you only can find here in Spain. Yes. Okay. Is it those black pigs? Black pigs. Yeah. Okay, first of all, the breed. Second, the acorn, when the Romans come here to, the, to Spain, okay, they obtained to us three, three things uh, so important. The acorn, okay, the olives. Oh, okay, olives as well, there you go. And the grapes for the wine, okay, and here in Spain, we obtain a lot of olives, grapes, and acorns. Here in Spain, we have more than 70% of the acorn in the world, okay? And the acorn is so important because it has a lot of um, a lot of properties that makes this type of ham, okay? This special ham. And how old, how old is this hamon? This has six years and three months. Six years and three months. This from 2018. Wow! 2018. 2018. Okay. That is yeah. fucking we ridiculous. Kill, we killed the pork in January of 2018. Now we are in 2024. Uh, this ham has six years and uh, two months. Holy Holy moly! That is a that is a a pig from so long ago. And it's different different hams, different qualities. Okay. The green label. You can see that all the hams has a label. Okay, a different label green black okay green label means that the ham the mom always is 100 percent iberian okay that maybe yes maybe no okay okay the green one means that the mom is 100 percent iberian the dad not and the and the pork didn't eat eight oh okay, okay. there you go eight green fat natural green fat but not acorns you are going to taste it's so good. This ham has four years. So this ham has four years. Four years. But not acorn. No acorn. Okay. okay. It's still delicious. It's so good. It's still it still tastes like Peppa Pig. <laughs> but this is the best. This is the top of the line. Okay, so this is a six-year-old. Yeah. One hundred percent. An acorn. Acorn fed. All right. The smell is a little bit different. The smell is a lot more intense. This is more melty. Mm. It's more intense, but at the same time, it's sweeter. Okay. Mm. It has like a a drying sensation on the palate. A slightly drier. It's melty. Mm. It's more dry, more melty, and more sweet. Yes, very much sweeter. There's an earthiness to it, but this doesn't have. Wow, <laughs> that is that is amazing, absolutely amazing. No, no, it's okay. That is absolutely the difference between the two. Sweeter. It's got a nuttier taste. It's got a drying sensation on the palate, like it makes it kind of like slightly pucker up here. Amazing. And then, now we are uh, a family. This is a family business. Family business. Yeah. All right. He's my uncle. Oh. The other guy that lived uh, 10 minutes ago is another of my uncles. Also here we work.
my mother, my mom, my brother, okay, my little cousins. That's good. Cool. We work all the family. And do you grow the pig yourself? No, no. <laughs> we are sellers. Sellers. But we are not farmers. Okay. Why? Because the farm needs a special, a special forest, okay, that has only a few families that calls the Esa. The Esa is uh, where we have the acorn trees. Yes. Okay. okay. So much, much different growing yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much yeah. different. It's very so different. Growing is one thing. Um, produce or or cure is another thing. Okay. And sell the ham is and number. cut because the farmers uh, don't know, uh, doesn't know how to cut it. Okay, they and just, we know they just grow it. Yeah, here's the pig, and then yeah. the people that cure it go, all right, give us the pigs, we'll cure and it. Here we are, we specialize in ham carving. Okay. okay, we are carvers, ham carvers. Fantastic. Okay, and now you can see in the plate ham. It is quite um, quite an amazing thing tasting the two different hams, acorn fed, non acorn fed, and the age. Now, from what I gather, the the weight loss of this ham is like forty percent arena when it ages this long. Is that correct? Forty percent weight loss. Sorry, the weight of the ham is at forty percent. Yeah, more or less. More or less for the uh, yeah. uh, More or less. Imagine one ham that uh, of uh, nine kilograms. Okay, I obtain more or less 40, 42 packages of 100 grams. More or less between 40, between 40 and 50 percent of meat. Then the rest is the cover that we uh, stretch. Okay, and the bone. Okay. All the bone. Do you okay. use the bone for soup for food? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of we. Well, here we cut three or four hams per day. Oh wow! Okay, okay. and we have a lot of bones, and we give for the people okay. who want it. But a lot of people uh, or uh, associations come here to take the bones to make soups or different things. So what I what I love about this is um, look at these little cups. Look at these little cups. These little cups are designed to catch the dripping fat. I just want to take a cup and drink the fat. <laughs> this room is full of my spirit animal. Look at that. It's one of the most beautiful things you can see with food. Amazing. It's difficult to learn because you are not going to buy 300 legs to, to learn how to cut it. Yes, that's right. So here we have the opportunity with my ankles. Can I can I give cutting it a try? Can I can I of try? Course. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to just put this camera here. But I I think for you this one is going to be easier because this one is too far. Okay. Okay. This this is perfect. Okay. Let me just wash my hands or glove. 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 All right. Which hand do I put a glove in? That uh, one. You are right hand or left? Right handed. In the left. Left one. All right. I'm going to put a black glove. When the black glove comes on, the fun begins, baby. <laughs> Be careful. All right. Okay, okay. So, so I'm going to try cutting the younger one because the flesh is softer and it's not as dangerous because yeah. these knives are sharp as shit. Okay. First, right. give me. Okay. All right. I'm going to explain you again okay. how to cut it. And all right. Then Let's do it. You alone. First of right. all, this position, more or less. Okay? Mm -hmm. And relax. It's important to be relaxed. Relax. Relax. Okay. Now, we cut. This is so sharp. Mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. We sharp. In, we slice in this direction. Mm -hmm. And in this one, no. Here, no. Here. I see. Okay? Okay. So thin. It's important that you watch the knife under the slides. Okay. Okay, it's my trick. All right. Perfect. Okay, small circular. Okay. Okay. Stop okay. with me. Okay. Take like this. Relax. Okay. Relax. 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 Okay. No. okay. No, 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 no. Like this. Like this. Why? Okay. Because you have more control. Okay. Another important thing. We cut with this size of the knife. Mm -hmm. Okay, because if you will cut... It's too the, soft. 
Yeah, and you lost the control. Okay. The, so, so you cut with the end of the knife, not the top. Okay. All right, there we go. With me, first of all, with me. Okay. Perfect. Slowly. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. Start here. Oh, start here. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because you see the the little mountain. Oh yes, that's right. You got to even yeah. it out. Okay. Okay. All, so let's. We always need to say. Okay. So. What? First of all, you got to get a cut. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I need for tomorrow 400 packages. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, too thin. Too thin. That was a fail. Too thin. Yeah, too okay. Thin. Okay. A little bit more or less two fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers thick. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. I split it a little bit though. No problem. No problem. It's normal. It still tastes the same. Yeah, why? Because you have here in this part of the ham, you have different muscles um, that goes together with the fat. Okay. It's normal that some pieces broke. Broke. Okay. All right. All right. So let's let's cut the mountain. There we go. No preguntes. Very nice. All right, there we go. All right, all right. I used to be a chef in a different life, you see? <laughs> Fantastic, well, thank you. Here you go. I'm going to finish your plate. Great. So as you can see, the, uh, the art of, the art of uh, hamon cutting is not so simple, but it's not just cutting the hamon, it's actually it's the whole process from growing the pig, feeding the pigs the right food, and also curing it the right way, aging it. You've got to be super patient. It's like whiskey. It's like wine. Um, you can't just cure it and eat it the next day, right? You have, to, you have to give it time. Time is what makes things taste super good. But anyway, so once it's all been cut, it is presented like this. Okay, it is presented like this. This is actually quite a hefty portion. Um, usually when you go to different places, it's a little bit less than that, but it's presented like this. Um, what I'm actually going to order as well here is I'm going to order a manthanilla, okay, or a manthanilla, is that how you say it? Manthanilla. Um, Karen is going to order a beer or a cerveza. And uh, we're also, I think we're gonna order a Lomo Iberico Biota as well, which is, um, which is a acorn fed cured sausage, a pork loin sausage. Why not? Why not? Spain is the only country in the world that has special halal pork. It's science. It's science. In a way, until next time, thank you. Make sure you eat, smoke, drink, and make sure you indulge in some vitamin P. Vitamin pork. Oh, fuck, it smells so good. Holy shit. I'm aroused. I'm wet. I'm moist. I'm aroused. All sorts.